Good morning. You do well, Sadiq. <clears throat> the first time I spoke to CJ was on a soccer field two hours away. CJ was a guest player for our EDP team. I didn't know why CJ was willing to drive across the Bay Bridge on a short notice to play for a team he didn't know and a coach he had not met. But I was happy CJ was playing. While I had never spoken to CJ, I knew who he was. He was that kind of player. He stood out. He was a player that players and coaches love. CJ made you look better by playing a beautifully paced ball to complement your run. He moved off the ball to give you an easy way out of trouble. CJ's quickness and touch transformed a poorly played ball into a seemingly great ball. I witnessed that over and over again. I don't recall the words we shared that day, but he left an indelible impression on me. Not only was CJ a talented player, but he was incredibly respectful and eager to learn. A coach's dream. To my fortune, I didn't have to dream long. In the ensuing years, we teamed up year-round in soccer. CJ and my son Trevor joined forces in every format possible. They played 11 v 11, 7 v 7, 6 v 6. As I made this list, I couldn't believe it was still going on. They played 5 v 5 and finally 3 v 3. Who knew there were so many? They played in leagues and they played in tournaments. The carousel of fun, continuously spinning. Last Saturday, we had 21 seconds of silence at midfield for our first tournament game without our captain. As I stood at midfield, I heard his voice. Yes, coach. The sound rang clear as a well-struck soccer ball. Yes, coach. At first, I thought it strange that such a routine phrase would be etched in my memory. And I realized it was because I heard it so many times. CJ remained respectful throughout our years together. It was genuine. It was always, yes, coach. His response to any directive was digested and then turned into action with contagious enthusiasm. His enthusiasm was rooted in the love of the game. For any of us who stepped into that futsal facility in White Plains, we saw CJ. He spent his entire day there. He was playing for several teams that he was on. If any team needed a player, he was the first to jump on. And if that wasn't happening, he would referee games. It was all day. In his 17 years, he got decades and decades of soccer action. And it showed. CJ played the same regardless of the store, score. He stayed positive and never gave up. Yes, coach. The words of a young fella who was just happy to be on the soccer field. There was one time he didn't call me coach. The setting is a five guys restaurant between games at a tournament. CJ was with a young lady, his mother, his coach and other teammates and parents. The consistently cool and unrattled teenager must have been a bit nervous on the inside. He called me bro. <laughs> and he was mortified. He started stammering. He, he, he repeated it to himself. I just, called, I just called you bro. And he immediately apologized and scurried away. I thought about that moment a lot, how his frustration with himself spoke to his character. More importantly to me, I was proud that he momentarily mistook me for one of his bros. It spoke to the bond we developed over the years, over the common love of soccer, even more so, but so. It was evident when I first saw CJ, he was a talented soccer player, an amazing creative talent. What I learned in the years that followed was that he was so much more than that. He was a talented swimmer. He was a talented musician. It seemed like whatever he applied himself to, he readily excelled. But still, CJ was much more than that. He was a role model. 
a teenage role model. His exemplary behavior, his contagious smile, his love of life, and his warm personality drew people to CJ. He was a role model to his teammates and even his coaches. He showed how to fight for a win and how to lose with dignity. He was a role model to his family. As a youngest child of seven, I clearly recognized the adoration his younger siblings had for the larger-than-life big brother. CJ gave that love and adoration back tenfold. As amazing as he was in the soccer field, he was more amazing as a big brother. We will miss you, Captain. I will miss you, my bro. <laughs>